Would you say that you're making the most of your time? Hi, my name is Nancy Saleri, host of the Living Full Out Show. I really love being the host of that show and hearing all the inspirational stories. And a lot of times people say, well, Nancy, you're so inspiring to me. And I, I kind of sit back and I'm very humbled when people say that because I'm just me. But when I do think about life, mainly losing my eyesight due to retinitis pigmentosa, it's a degenerative eye condition, it actually has taught me a lot. I, I oftentimes think, gosh, what would 2020 perfect vision Nancy be like? What would I drive? Where would I travel? Just how easy it would be to do things. But then I think to myself, well, not having it that easy has led me to asking for help, to you know, taking this journey with others. They're my eyes. They interpret what I can't see. And to be honest, it's a it's a really genuine, authentic experience, more than I think the 2020 Nancy would have had. But I will also tell you that being diagnosed at 16, I thought, gosh, you know, I've got my whole life ahead of me. Eh, then in my 20s and my 30s and my 40s, literally every couple years, it would take a jump and it would get worse. It was, you know, at first it was hard to read paper. Then I couldn't read or see the, the computer screen. Then the lines on the road started to disappear. Then faces started to disappear. And I can't tell you how many walls I run into on a daily basis. Oh yes, and the couch and the end table and beyond, 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 right? But one of the things it has definitely taught me is to treasure time. I want to make sure that you check out the video in the description because sometimes we have to forgive ourselves. We have to let go and forgive the past because if you're kind of carrying the, the luggage of the past with you into the future, it's hard to be arms wide open. It's hard to have gratitude for what you have and what's ahead of you when you're looking behind. I stopped looking behind. I stopped being a victim. Woe is me. I can't see. I am just living life large, just being out there, just being signature Nancy who runs in the walls and hits her legs on a daily basis on her coffee table. That's right. And I'm okay with that. But what I'm not okay with is not really witnessing and appreciating what my vision loss has taught me. I choose to be grateful for it. I choose to celebrate every day, make the most of what I can see, make the most of the time of the friends and family that I'm with, and you have that same choice. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to go blind. We're all gonna have different health issues in life. Might mean a, a different heartbreak of a different form. But I want you to stand up today for yourself and really take the power back and tell time, father time, <laughs> mother time, tell time, you know what, I got this, and go out there and enjoy it. That's what it means to live full out. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you'd like to see other inspirational videos. Make sure to ring that bell. Also, connect with us on other social media sites and comment back if you'd like to share what type of videos you want us to create. Here's to you living your life full out.